I got into music when I was like really young. I was like three years old and I saw how music would change people and how it would affect people. Um, I was born in Dubai, so um, in Dubai they would listen a lot of Bollywood music was my influence um, at the time. And yeah, Bollywood music was really happy, really exciting. It would make people dance, make people feel good. And then, and then I also grew up on um, um, country music and pop music. So Michael Jackson, um, Prince, um, yeah, and I and Whitney Houston, like the greats, you know, the legends. And I, I saw what it did to people and how it moved people and how it changed people's moods um, and how it brought people together. So when I was, I was young, I just noticed that and, and I also noticed what it did to me, like how it affected me personally because it would just change my mood and it would just make me feel something great. So I knew that that was when I first started and I started developing a love for music and I started getting obsessed with it. But then I didn't realize until later on when I was like 10 to 14 when I realized I could actually pursue this as a career. I would be a psychologist, most likely, in something to do with psychology because um, I love the world of psychology. In as a songwriter, you do need psychology. Um, you need to understand psychology because you're writing music for human beings in their brain, and you know we gotta understand how we think and all these things. So, like, I do take a liking to psychology. Um, so I'd probably be a psychologist, so you can step into my office and tell me how you feel. Um, or I would be an actress, as you, as you noticed, I just, my, my skit, just there, um, and yeah, no, maybe I would still do, pers pursue the acting stuff, um, while I'm si simultaneously pursuing my music career, um, maybe, perhaps in the future soon, um, and I love animals, so I could totally see me doing something with animals. And maybe not being a vet to like give them needles and like operate operate on them if I need to, because I don't think I would be able to like open them up and stuff. But I would love, I love all animals, like any animal from like snakes to like dogs, cats to lions. Like I'm, I love them all, honestly. So I think I would do something where I could like love animals. Um, and, uh, or I would be like an astronaut, something completely crazy that would just take me away from life and the world. Um, honestly, yeah, I, I'm a big, I'm a big dreamer. So I go for like big dreams. I like the, the big pursuits, but I'm going to stick with music. Thank you so much. Yes, every single one of those um, achievements have brought something different to my life and have taught me something different to my life. Like every single, I'm so grateful that I was blessed with each and every one of those opportunities because they all bring something different. And uh, yeah, like for writing with Kesha as a songwriter that really, really um, opened my eyes and, and taught me how to write and collaborate with it. Uh, with another skilled songwriter and I got to witness her magic when she when I got to throw my magic out and we got to create magic together and um, that was really really special um, experience for me and then opening up for Taylor McFerrin he is oh my gosh he's so talented he's insane and he he just even just being on the same stage as him was super super humbling um, was a super humbling experience and then watching him in his own craft it really opened my eyes because we do kind of a, a little bit like we do different music do we do different styles and um, I just watching him in his element and in his talent and creating his art um, I, it opened my eyes to to creating my art so 
every single experience is special on their own and bring different things to you, your life and serve you in different ways. I don't feel by any means that I am there yet. Um, I have so many more goals in mind to achieve and I'm achieving them one, one step at a time, one project at a time. Um, and I also really feel, I, lately I've been feeling of um, a sense of giving back. So I, I don't know, I, I'm thinking, I, I don't know, I, I would love to like maybe open a school for a music school for kids um, and teach them about what I've learned in music. So that's, I don't know, I just really feel a sense of giving back. So that's another achievement that I want to accomplish too in my, in my career. I would love to collaborate with Kelani. Oh, I'm obsessed with her latest album. It's so good. And for my next project, it's actually like really, really inspiring me and feeding, feeding me a lot of cool ideas um, and inspo um, for my next project. So that would be cool to get her on the next project. Um, Emotional Oranges, they are a super duper dope band that I went to see in live actually um, in Toronto and uh, yeah they make like disco funk R&B music which is really cool really cool sound that I would love to jump into as well at some point um, Lucky Day I also saw him live in Toronto he is so talented who um, who else uh, Looney from Toronto she's so so talented too um, Savannah Ray, um, Nadia Stone, um, those are all Toronto artists, female artists. Um, I would love to do more female collab collaborations. Um, yeah. It's always a challenge to capture this moment this very real 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 um vibe this energy it's like it's a, it's an energy every every song like you can feel a different energy in it right when you're listening to it so that energy is really really it's a vision it's it was first the writer's vision and they captured that energy first and then now they had to be the vessel of displaying that energy and like sending that energy to you to your to their audience to their listeners um so that's the ch most challenging part i would say um i i know the energy i feel the energy like when i'm writing um i i know that i'm feeling a certain energy before even wanting to write a song I know what the energy is gonna be of the song but then when you need to now translate that into a song it's it's quite challenging because now you have to now you have to show you have to um, trans trans translate that energy into the not just the lyrics but the lyrics the melody the rhythm the timbre the um, the tone when you're recording it even, um, the sounds that you're using, um, the mix, the mixing engineer has to do a good job too. Um, the, the beat, the, the percussion, the drums, bleh, 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 right? So like it's, there's so many elements, bleh, all these elements. <laughs> and then here's the vision and you got to like send the vision out to all of these, all of these elements that, will then capture it in one big ball of energy and then send it out to the world. So that's why it's like really hard to make, I think, to make a hit song because the hit song is successfully basically capturing the energy in all of those elements perfectly. And that's, that's when you have a hit song, I think. Um, so that's the challenge <laughs> as a songwriter. It's, 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 uh, it's, quite the challenge because sometimes you'll really really nail the lyrics and you know you got those lyrics down pat but then how are you gonna like the melody's not really 
doing it. So it's like, it's it, that's the challenge. And, and I, I think and I believe that so far I've done my best in capturing the energy and throwing it at y'all in my music, in my songs, um, the best I could. And I hope I'm doing a good job. Um, but I can always do better. So that's my goal, to always be doing better as a songwriter um, and capturing the energy of the songs in a better way and, and putting them out to you guys in the best way I can. So room for improvement, yes. Send it if you have tips. Send it my way. Let me know how I can improve, definitely. Honestly, it was my own therapy. Um, not to be selfish, but like I was writing music for myself and um, for my own therapy and it made me feel better. And um, I, I, I am always um, struggling with mental health. I wouldn't like, yeah, it is a, it, it is a struggle, but it's also a journey. Like it, it's a beautiful journey because anyone who has um, a mental health um, journey, I don't want to call it a struggle. I want to call it a journey. Anyone who has a mental health journey, um, they are very, very in their brain. They they think a lot. They must they must have they must be because there's no way you can. It's a mental thing. <laughs> Hence the mental health, right? So you have to be thinking a lot. You have to be wondering a lot. You have to be like um, very analytical of yourself and others. And you have to be empathetic and feel. And it's very, it's a very feeling type of thing. You have to have a lot of feels. Um, you got to be in your feels. Um, so, so yes, I'm always that way. And so because I'm that way, I started using music to, to listen to music, other people's music, other people's art, speaking to me and helping me in my mental health and making me feel great when I feel like shit. If I, if I do feel like shit, I'll listen to a song and I'll go for a specific song to make me feel good because music can just do that, right? And speak to you and change your mood and change your whole vibe and energy. Um, but then I started also doing the same for me, like putting like Strive. When I was writing Strive, I was in a really sad place in my life because I was like not happy with who I was and, and who I was being. And, and, and But I had a sense of hope that I was, that I wanted to be better. I wanted to strive for something better. And then I wrote Strive. So it was kind of like my therapy. Um, Chosen was a huge therapy moment for me um, because I was going in a consistent, I was in a cycle, I was in a cycle, in a relationship cycle, which a, a, like a, not a talk, like not a great one, a toxic one. And um, I wasn't, I just felt really, uh, I just felt really um, not chosen, you know, like I felt kind of left out. And so I woke up one day and I was like, I don't want to feel left out anymore. I want to be chosen. And that's when I just it spilled out of me the music, the song, um, and I wanted, and I want to be chosen. And I wrote the song, I want to be chosen, um, and so on and so forth. There's so many songs. Um, be who you are. Be who you are is a really cool one um, because because I have always struggled with um, trying to please everyone, please, 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 pleasing people, um, and all my life and my career and then I stopped one day and I was like fuck this I want to be who I am and um, I don't want it to be about clothes money this that um, Kylie lip gloss like whatever like all this stuff like get it off me I just want to be myself and if I want to be if I want to do if I want to dress up one day I will dress up and be cute if I don't I don't and I'm gonna be who I am so yeah so um that it, it started with me um, being a therapist for myself, writing my own music, and um, and then yeah, I hope I hope it helps you guys too. I hope it touches you guys and moves you guys and speaks speaks to y'all when if you're feeling feeling the same way that I did um, writing the, the songs. 
Um, yes, yeah, so I'm Perfect is definitely a very, very self-reflective EP. Um, I was, right while I was writing it, I was very, very in a middle ground of my life. Like I was really, really finding myself. I was really um, exploring my values, um, my beliefs, um, my, what I stand for in life. Um, so I was really exploring that and that's what I ended up putting into my project, into my EP, um, and calling it, I'm perfect, but spelling it imperfect. So that's, that's the trick. Um, um, yeah, so I'm perfect because, and I want to say I'm perfect and spell it imperfect because like, we never know, like we don't know an all the answers of life. Like you can only really know what you want and what you like. And sometimes what you want and what you like and all your beliefs and your goals and your, your values can even change as you evolve as a person, as a human being. So that's why I called it imperfect I'm, I'm I'm perfect but spelled it imperfect because like I'm imperfectly perfect with my self-discovery journey it is a imperfectly perfect journey um, that we don't need to put pressure on ourselves we can um, you know be who you are is all about finding out that I have been someone else this whole time and I want to be who I am and take I was taking a stance on that good girl was all about um, my definition for myself of what a good girl versus bad girl is like in the real true not like bad baddie not like bad girl like bad gal not like that bad girl like in the literal form of good girl bad girl um, I really wanted to be more of a, a good girl in my life I just want to do good and be better in my terms of good. Um, so good to you means something t completely different than good to what good means to me. Um, and I wanted to, you know, um, stop drinking and smoking and giving all my love away. Basically, like, yeah, good girl is like, it talks about my, my journey of wanting to be me, a better version of myself. Um, and you know, million people is like the values of the world. It was more of a worldly, um, self reflect or worldly reflection. Um, get going another song about me pursuing my, my dreams, um, and reflecting on that strive, reflecting on myself and my, um, my values and how I can strive for better. And chosen is my values of, how I how I value myself in a relationship inside of a relationship so it's very very self-reflective um, and I hope you guys enjoy it enjoy it video is very very important because you are now coming to life as you're, you're like as we talked about earlier with the, the energy it's now a new element of the energy that you are um, bringing to your audience, right? So it's like, it's all, it all starts with that one small energy, that one small speck of energy where you're like, you know, you captured it, you, you broke up with your, your person and you're very sad and you wanna, and now you, you've created this energy, this like sad, heartbroken energy. Now you, you wanna put it in a song, you put it, you put it into a song with all those 10 elements, like whatever elements that I was talking about earlier. So sound, tone, timbre, lyrics, rhythm, melody, um, um, instrumentation, arrangement, blah, 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 all of those. Now you've, now you've put that energy, now you've put that little ball of energy into all these. Now it's a song. And then now the music video is like, that's the next level of energy where you're putting, you're going to that next level of energy and putting your energy even further um, 
So it's really important because you are coming to life as an artist and you are coming to life as an artist and displaying that song's energy into a whole new art form. Um, so video, visuals, um, details, um, um, movement, if there is any dance movement, um, um, acting, if there is any acting, um, script, all of those things are really, really important um, to the initial art, to the initial energy of that art piece. So it's very important. And I like to stay really, really involved in um, that whole process of the visuals too, because at the end of the day, I, as you're an artist, you're the artist and you brought the initial you brought the initial art form, so you, I mean the initial art piece. So you definitely want to be involved, so that new new collaborators don't take your art piece somewhere completely different, and your your energy completely different. You want to stay. You want to stay. Um, you want the energy to stay. Your vision. Am I saying this right? You want the energy to stay consistent throughout the entire vision of all of the art forms. I'm gonna sing a little bit of Good Girl for you guys off of my EP, I'm Perfect. Enjoy it. I don't wanna wake up in another stranger's bed I don't want to light up another cigarette I don't want to end up a screw up when I got so much to give I'm switching up the sheets in my bed and I'm gonna lay in it I want to be a good girl I want to be a good girl I wanna stop smoking and drinking and giving all my love away. Yeah, I'm gonna be a good girl. I'm gonna be a good girl. I'm gonna be who, who I say I am. Keep trying it over and over again. Whoa, whoa. No, 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 can't tell you where my pride went, but I know where the party is, pre-drink in my apartment, probably in the back it hits, I don't think I can change, but I know that I have got to try, hell has got a hold on me, I know heaven hears me cry, I, 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 I wanna be a good girl, I wanna be a good girl, I wanna stop smoking and drinking and giving all my love away. Yeah, I'm gonna be a good girl. I'm gonna be a good girl. I'm gonna be who I say I am. You're trying it over and over again. There's so much darkness in the world. Trying to add good energy, good vibes only. I've been through enough to say, I don't really care to change, but I'm only hurting myself this way. I'm gonna be a good girl. I wanna be a good girl. I wanna stop smoking and drinking and giving all my love away. I'm gonna be a good girl. Hey, I'm gonna be a good girl. I'm gonna be who I say I am. Keep trying it over and over again. Oh, I'm gonna be a good girl. Oh, I'm gonna be a real good girl. I'm gonna be a good girl. I'm gonna be a good girl. Thank you.
Hope you enjoyed that. Right now, I dropped the music video for Strive, so definitely go check that out, and the music video for Chosen, my sing both of my singles. Um, they're doing really, really well, so I'm really, really, really grateful to you guys who are listening and watching. Thank you so much. Um, and for those who haven't seen them, definitely check them out on YouTube, and they're all on, um, all the singles are on um, your streaming platforms. And the next stuff that I'm doing, I'm working on new music. It's of a more R&B lane. So um, I can't wait to drop that for you guys and show you that new stuff that I'm working on. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll be putting it all out um, as singles for you guys. So not a project, just gonna, just gonna take a break for a second off of projects and just give you guys some hot singles, hot new singles. So definitely check them out and stay tuned and let me know what you guys think of of all of my art that I'm feeding you guys I love uh, getting feedback and getting your input and seeing how you guys receive all my art as well so definitely keep in touch well firstly thank you so much Okie OK Magazine for having me on this interview. I really, really appreciate it. Honestly, it's so hard sometimes for artists to like get their, get get noticed, get their um, music out there and, and reach fans and reach people who are watching. So it, it, it's a blessing um, to have platforms like yourselves. So thank you for doing what you do and putting us artists on. So I really appreciate you. Um, and thank you guys for watching. Um, so you guys can find me. Um, all of my social media links are actually on my website. That's www.tamarquis.com. That's T-A-Y-A-M-A-R-Q-U-I-S. But I also go by Tamar Keys on all social media platforms if you can't get um, to my website. Um, I'm on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok now, and Facebook. Um, so thank you so much. And you guys love you so much for supporting my music and watching my music videos and hitting those that like um, button and the subscribes and the comments and thank you so much for supporting and listening to all of my art and I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart and um, yeah stay stay beautiful stay um, stay lovely and with all of your good energy and your good vibes out there keep it up Keep up the good energy and the good vibes in the world. And I will see you soon. Thank you so much. Love you.